It's often a labor of love and not money. There are people who do great things for the community, and they do it on a very tight budget. But four different companies in the triad are trying to make it easier for nonprofits by giving them computers, software, and a lot more. But the companies say they're having a hard time giving their gifts away. Fox 8 Sheikha Strickland joins us live now in the Fox 8 Journal Newsroom with more. I'm sorry, here in, in, in Highport. Sorry, Sheikha. I'm here in Highport. Hi. Yeah, Hi. these local companies, these local companies pick one nonprofit each year to get a new website like Triad Health Projects website right here. They can also get new computers, software, training, and a new brand new marketing strategy. But like I said, uh, these companies are having a hard time finding a nonprofit that wants all this free stuff. I'm just a sucker for a hard story. And with that idea, Sue Polinsky started using her company, Tech Triad, to give away a free website to a nonprofit. Each year she picks one, hoping it'll help them serve more people in Greensboro and Guilford County. Greensboro's been good to me. I like it here. I don't ever want to leave here. And this is what I can do. Three years ago, she created a new website for the Triad Health Project, which helps people living with AIDS and HIV. In the first month, they got $1,500 in donations online. It really enables us to reach a broader audience, to reach a younger audience. Three other companies have since joined her to create the Tech Triad Extreme Makeover. They give away free computers, software, training, marketing, and a website. Chris Oakman says they do it because it makes them feel good. We estimate somewhere in the neighborhood of ten to fifteen thousand dollars is probably what a nonprofit's getting. But this year, barely anyone has asked for the free stuff. Polinsky has three applications so far. In the past, she would get 20 to 30. I'm stunned. I'm trying to figure it out. I don't know why uh, we didn't get more applications or nominations. Polinsky knows there are nonprofits that need the help. She hopes a few more will step forward so she can help the community she loves. I don't have all the money in the world. I have the, this skill set. And if I can share that, I'm thrilled. All right, so if there's a nonprofit that wants to apply for this, all they have to do is go on to techtriad.com, just fill out a couple of questions, hit submit, and uh, the deadline to apply for this is March 1st. We are live in the Fox 8 newsroom in High Point. Sheikha Strickland, Fox 8 News. Sheikha, thank you. Coming up.